modern tobacco farming and tobacco leaves harvesting. You'll be amazed to know that tobacco was once used as currency. In colonial America, tobacco was a highly valuable commodity and was used as a form of currency in many regions. Farmers would often use tobacco as a way to pay off debts and purchase goods, and the crop was even used to pay taxes. In fact, tobacco was such an important part of the colonial economy that it was used to fund the construction of many public buildings, including the Virginia State Capitol. While tobacco is no longer used as a currency, it remains an important agricultural crop and a symbol of the history and culture of many regions around the world. The process of growing and harvesting tobacco has evolved significantly over the years, with modern technology and techniques making the process more efficient and sustainable. In this video, we'll explore modern tobacco farming and tobacco leaf harvesting, including the latest equipment and methods used to cultivate, harvest, and process tobacco leaves. We'll also explore the process of making cigars, including how the leaves are sorted, fermented, and aged before they're rolled into the finished product. Whether you're a cigar enthusiast or simply curious about the intricate process behind this beloved tobacco product, this video will provide an in-depth look at the world of modern tobacco farming, tobacco leaves harvesting, and cigar making. Please subscribe to the channel for more fascinating videos. Tobacco seeds are planted in specially prepared seed beds, typically in late winter or early spring. The seedlings are then transplanted to the fields once they reach a certain size. The JP6 transplanter is a high-tech machine designed for efficient tobacco seedling planting in large-scale commercial tobacco farming operations. It's a tractor-mounted machine that's pulled behind a tractor and consists of a series of planting units mounted on a frame. Each planting unit can plant six tobacco seedlings at a time, and they're spaced at intervals that correspond to the row spacing of the tobacco plants in the field. The planting process with the JP6 transplanter starts with loading the seedlings into the planting trays located on the machine. The trays are then fed into the planting units, which utilize a specialized mechanism to plant the seedlings in the soil at the desired depth and spacing. The machine is equipped with sensors that ensure precise planting depth and spacing and also feature real-time monitoring and control of planting speed and other parameters. This feature is particularly useful for farmers who work in areas with variable soil and weather conditions. The JP6 transplanter represents a significant step forward in tobacco planting technology, offering improved efficiency, accuracy, and control over traditional manual planting methods. Tobacco is grown in warm, humid climates with well-drained soils. The cultivation involves preparing the soil, planting the seedlings, managing the crop, and harvesting the mature plants. The seedlings are started indoors or in a greenhouse and then transplanted to the field using specialized planting equipment. Regular irrigation, fertilization, and pest management are necessary for tobacco plants to grow properly. The cultivation of tobacco involves the use of very specialized equipment, including a tobacco ridging machine. This machine is used to create ridges or mounds of soil in between the rows of tobacco plants which helps to prevent excess water from accumulating around the plants and promotes better drainage. The ridging machine is a tractor-mounted implement that consists of a series of blades or plows mounted on a frame, which can be adjusted to create ridges of various sizes and shapes. It's operated by a tractor driver who drives the machine along the rows of tobacco plants, 
with the blades or plows creating the ridges as they move through the soil. The ridging machine is particularly useful in areas with heavy rainfall or in soils with poor drainage, as it can help prevent water logging and improve the overall health and quality of the tobacco crop. Tobacco is harvested either by priming, which involves removing the leaves one by one as they mature, or by stalk cutting, which involves cutting down the entire plant at once. The harvested tobacco then undergoes a curing process to remove moisture and develop flavor and aroma. The RA942 Tobacco Harvester is a machine that's designed to mechanically harvest tobacco leaves. It's equipped with a series of sharp blades that cut the leaves from the tobacco plant. which are then collected by a conveyor belt system and deposited into a container. The machine is pulled through the tobacco fields by a tractor. And the height of the cutting blades can be adjusted to accommodate different tobacco plant varieties and soil conditions. The RA942 can harvest up to 12 rows of tobacco plants at a time, making it a highly efficient option for large-scale commercial tobacco farming operations. How to make a cigar from tobacco leaves. Making a cigar from tobacco leaves is a complex process that requires a great deal of skill and experience. While the process can vary depending on the individual cigar maker and the specific type of cigar that's made, the general steps involved in making a cigar are as follows. The first step in making a cigar is to harvest the tobacco leaves and dry them in a curing barn. This process can take several weeks and involves carefully controlling the temperature and humidity to ensure that the leaves dry evenly and develop their desired flavor. Once the leaves have been dried, they're sorted according to size and quality. The leaves are then fermented in large stacks, which helps to further develop their flavor and aroma. After the leaves have been fermented, the cigar maker begins the process of rolling the cigar. This involves selecting the appropriate leaves for the wrapper, binder, and filler, and then rolling them in the desired shape and size. The wrapper is the outermost layer of the cigar and provides much of its flavor and aroma. Once the cigar has been rolled, it's pressed to help shape it and ensure a consistent burn. The cigar may also be shaped by hand to achieve a specific size and shape. After the cigar has been shaped, it's aged in a humidor for several months or even years. This process helps to further develop the flavor and aroma of the cigar and ensures that it's ready to smoke. Once the cigar has been properly aged and conditioned, it's ready to be smoked and enjoyed. It can be challenging to make cigars, but it's also a highly rewarding and enjoyable craft for those who are passionate about cigars and tobacco. An interesting fact is that the shape and size of a cigar can greatly affect its flavor and smoking experience.
Cigars come in a wide variety of shapes and sizes, each of which has its own unique characteristics. For example, a cigar with a larger diameter will have a milder flavor than one with a smaller diameter, as it will allow more air to flow through the cigar and cool the smoke. The length of a cigar also plays a role in its flavor, with longer cigars tending to have a more complex and nuanced flavor profile than shorter ones. Additionally, the shape of a cigar can affect the way it burns and the amount of smoke it produces.